Hello, welcome to Prajim Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 60. In this session, we'll understand the difference between strings of type system.string and system.text.string builder. In fact, the difference is very simple. Strings of type system.string are immutable, whereas strings of type string builder are mutable. Okay, so what do we mean by mutable and immutable? Let's understand with an example and then we'll understand the advantage of using string builder when heavy string manipulation is involved. Okay, let's say I have, you know, a simple program like this, string, let's say user string variable. And initially, I'm actually initializing this to C sharp. Let's say I want to print a word C sharp video tutorial for beginners. You know, the way I can do is, uh, you know, I initially initialize that to C sharp and then maybe I will concatenate that again plus equals. Maybe we will say C sharp video. And you know, you can concatenate them like this. So obviously what we are doing here is we are manipulating this string object. We are changing this string object many times. So C sharp video tutorial and maybe here for and maybe here. So if you look at this, you have changed the string almost five times. Initially you have initialized that to C sharp and then changed that to C sharp video by concatenating this word. And then C sharp video tutorial for beginners. So one, two, three, four, five. You are basically changing the same string object five times. So what actually happens when you change it five times? Okay, this is what happens in memory. Look at this. When you first initialize the string, this this you this variable user string to C sharp, what happens? This variable gets created. This reference variable gets gets created on the stack, which will be pointing to the C sharp object initially. And you wouldn't have all these objects. Okay? So it will be pointing to this. And then when we have this line, user string is equal to user string plus video. When we when we have this line, so what's going to happen? You know, this object this, this reference variable now is pointing to this object. So, as soon as this line gets executed, what happens? The reference variable, you know, will no longer point to this object. It will instead create another new string object because this string, once created, this object, once created, it's immutable. Meaning, you cannot change that object in memory there. Instead, when this line gets executed, what actually happens is this object you know, will remain there in the memory. Another new string objects get created. This value, this value within this object will be copied over and to that, this word will be concatenated, you know, in this new object. Okay, so now your reference variable will, point, will be pointing to this object. But then, when it encounters this line, what happens? Even this object is discarded in the sense your reference variable will no longer point to that object. It will now be pointing to this object, copying that value and then tutorial word together and then forms this new string object. So it goes on. Okay. So here if you look at this, we, we just manipulated it five times and we ended up with how many objects? Five objects and four are actually thrown away. I mean, they are not used at all, but they still remain in memory. You know, they occupy the amount of memory they occupy. Okay, so when will they be cleaned and who will clean them? Garbage collector. So until the garbage collector runs, you know, these objects are going to stay in the memory on the heap. And, you know, there is going to be memory pressure for your program. So obviously, any time, you know, when you, when you manipulate string over and over and over again, you will have so many objects created. Here we are changing the string object five times. So we have four orphaned string objects. Orphan meaning there is no reference variable pointing to these objects. That's why these are considered garbage and they will be cleaned when the garbage collector runs. Okay, but this object is not garbage. Why? Because there is a reference variable pointing to it at this point, you know, pointing to this object. So when somebody says, you know, print the value that is contained in user string variable, what happens? It goes and checks what is the value in this object, pulls that value and prints it. Okay, so this object is not garbage, but all these are garbage. So since strings of type system.string are 
immutable they cannot be changed once created that is what is the meaning of immutable okay but whereas strings of type string builder are mutable meaning no matter how many times you change your string builder object you wouldn't get new objects the same object will be changed in memory so even if you change the object 10000 times you will still have only one string builder object you don't have a lot of you know garbage objects or orphaned string builder objects because why it can be changed it can be it's mutable basically changeable over time but whereas strings of type system dot string are immutable you cannot change them once created if you have to change them then what happens that object will be discarded another new object gets created to which the values will be copied over and your reference variable will now be pointing to that new object so that's how strings of type system dot string gets changed they are immutable okay so we can rewrite i mean actually if we print this as you expect we get that c sharp video tutorial for beginners message so let's print that so as we expect we get that now to make this program a little more efficient what you can actually do is use string builder object okay so instead of using uh, you know the string we use string builder and string builder class you know the string class is actually present in system namespace but whereas string builder is present in system dot text namespace so let's import that and then instead of using string I'm going to say string builder okay so user string is equal to new string builder and there are several overloaded versions of this constructor so I'm going to use the version which takes in a string object and create that and obviously if it is a string builder object you cannot use plus equals to concatenate those strings instead what you need to do is there is a method called append so we need to use that append method so when we use the append method we can concatenate the strings together so let's do the same thing for the other things that we have okay and finally if you want the string representation of that string builder object we use the two string method and now when you run this program as you might expect there wouldn't be any change in the output except that we our program will perform a little better now it doesn't create unnecessary you know string objects the orphan string objects so anytime there is heavy manipulation of strings involved always use string builder rather than strings because it's good for performance you don't end up with a lot of orphaned string objects on the heap so as string builder objects are mutable they offer better performance than string objects of type system dot string when heavy string manipulation is involved okay just imagine i just want to show you a very simple program let's say i have a program like this maybe string user string is equal to string dot empty initially we are creating an empty string so one string object gets created in the heap and then there is a loop like this for int i is equal to one maybe i less than or equal to ten thousand i plus plus and what we are basically doing here is user string plus equals you know I want to add to that the number and then a space so what's going to happen now we are going to add numbers 1 space 2 space 3 space 4 until 10,000 into the string variable and finally we will just print that now as you might expect now since strings of type system dot string are immutable how many objects do you think gets created there are like 2,000, I mean 20,000, 10,000 objects get created. Okay, 10,001 in fact, because we have this object already created here. And out of this 10,001 objects, we will use only one string object. The other 9,999 objects or 10,000 objects are orphaned. 
we, we no longer use them. They are just there sitting and floating on the heap, waiting for the garbage collector to run and destroy them. Until then, the program will be under severe memory pressure. So when we run this, you know, as you might expect, it prints those numbers. But just imagine how many, you know, orphaned string objects get created on the heap. So that's why when heavy string manipulation is involved, always use strings of type system dot text dot string builder rather than strings of type system dot string. So to brief up, in summary, you know, there are basically three differences between system dot string and system dot text dot string builder. Okay, uh, strings of type system dot string are present in system dot string namespace, whereas string builder is present in system dot text dot string builder namespace and one of the main differences is strings of type system dot string are immutable whereas string builder strings are mutable and because of which we have better performance using string builder objects over system dot string if there is heavy string manipulation is in involved so this diagram should give you a very good idea about what we mean by mutable and immutable Immutable means you can change them in place. Those objects can be changed once created, whereas immutable means they cannot be changed. If you have to change them, you you will end up creating another object. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET and C Sharp interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.